This is what you will see when you open up a dataset in SPSS. A lot of numbers. What do they mean? Data types will help you make sense of these numbers and help you make decisions when designing an empirical study. We distinguish four data types. The first one is nominal. For nominal data, you only assign labels to variables. For example, when you categorize family members according to the country they live in. Instead of using words as labels, you can use numbers in your dataset. These numbers do not indicate any order or sequence. They only function as labels. Dichotomous choices like yes-no or male-female are examples of a nominal data data type. The second data type is ordinal. As the name suggests, there is a certain order in the labeling of numbers. Take the same family of 10 and order them by length. The smallest one stands on the left and the tallest one on the right. Subsequently, you number the people from 1 to 10. In this case, a 6 tells me that this person is taller than someone with a 4 or 3. However, the increase in length is not equal for each step on your scale. The difference in length between number 2 and 3 is much smaller than from 3 to 4. In other words, the intervals between the values are not equal. This means that you cannot make calculations with ordinal data. This brings us to the third data type, interval. For this data type, the intervals are equal. For example, temperature. 20 degrees Celsius is 1 degree warmer than 19, which is 1 degree warmer than 18. These distances are equal. This allows you to make basic calculations. Interval data types do not have a fixed zero value. What zero degrees means depends on the scale you use. 32 degrees Celsius means it is time to take a dive in the nearest swimming pool. 32 degrees Fahrenheit gives us a totally different picture. Scarves, mittens and hot cocoa. Which leads us to the final data type, ratio. This data type has equal intervals and a fixed zero value. For example, measuring length in centimeters or inches. Zero always means that you do not have any length at all. Now we can make more advanced calculations. For example, two babies are the length of one boy. So, why is it relevant for you to know these four data types? First, the response scale you use in a survey determines the data type of your data. For example, you can measure age by using different response scales. If you measure age in categories, you'll end up with ordinal data. However, if you measure age in years, you will end up with ratio data. Second, the data type determines the statistical techniques you can use to test your hypotheses. Warning, once you measure a variable on a high level, you can go back to a lower level. For example, when you measure length in centimeters, you can subsequently order the people by ranking their lengths from 1 to 10, giving you ordinal data. But if you only measure length on an ordinal scale, you can never change that back to actual length, which is on the ratio scale. This sums up the four different data types, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Thank you for watching.